ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone has new insight into what might have led to the jury's decision today. The jury reaching a verdict in the murder trial of three men accused of killing 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery in Georgia. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Travis McMichael, the man who pulled the trigger, was found guilty of all nine charges, including malice murder. His father, Gregory McMichael, was not guilty of malice murder, but guilty on all other charges. The McMichael's neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, was found guilty on multiple felony murder charges. Well, my first reaction is, is that I thought the prosecution did an excellent job of presenting a case where, in actuality, the defendants made up a defense of trying to make a citizen's arrest when in fact that's not what they were doing. For weeks, the jury heard testimony and watched cell phone video at the center of the case. The defense team argued that the three men acted out in self-defense under a now repealed Georgia citizen's arrest law. The prosecution argued that the three men were the aggressors and went after Arbery because he was black, assuming he was a thief, though police say he never stole anything. If you are the aggressor, you can't claim self-defense. And it seemed... I think the jury found that Mr. Arbery was trying to escape from these people and that they continued to chase him. Arbery's family was there during the trial process from start to finish, watching and hearing his final moments as they played before a jury. Never thought this day would come, but God is good. Yes, he is. He is. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you. Thank you for those who marched those who, who prayed, most of all the, the ones who prayed. The defendants all face a maximum sentence of life in prison. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.